How do you replace a line guide without any rod building equipment? This week on Kayak Hacks. First, my apologies to the rod building purists. This video is for the rest of us who do not have any rod building equipment and whose only motivation is to restore the use of a rod by replacing a broken line guide. Before we go through the way to do this without any gear, let's review what would normally be expected. I bought this little rig for $25 on eBay, and basically it provides a mechanism to support the rods as you turn it, because you're going to turn it as you wrap, a tensioner, two posts that the rod thread would normally go on, and then another tensioner to run the the line up to the rod. Here's what we'll replace it with. Pretty simple setup. I've got two toolboxes that are identically sized. I've run the rod through the handle to give myself something to brace it against as I wrap. Down here at the other end you can see the same thing. And then I've got the end of the rod supported on a bunch of wood. Now the most important piece of equipment is going to be your spool of braid. I've got that screwed onto a piece of wood and most important I'm using an elastic hairband you can see right here I've taken the line and with a needle and I've run it through the elastic hairband you can get these for 15 for a buck at the dollar store and the advantage is you can see me pull it here is that it puts a lot of tension puts a lot of tension on the line and that's going to keep it tight as you wrap. Now, I worry about this popping up, so I've got two heavy drills here that I'll use to brace this with. Now we're ready to go. It's just a matter of taking the remnants of my broken guide off and replacing that with a new guide. So I put a fresh blade in my razor here. Now I'm going to gently cut this out, being very careful not to cut the rod underneath the guide. Okay, before we get started putting the guide on, it's very important to get set up for how you're going to end this up. And one of the things you're going to need is a strand of braid in a loop, and you're going to use that to pull the line back through and underneath your wraps. So in this case, it looks like uh, this old guide, you can see where I pulled it off another rod, is the best choice. This is the first line guide uh, on this rod. So I'm going to put it on there. And now there's two ways you get this started. The first way, which I don't really like, is you get a piece of tape and you tape it on and then you start wrapping. I, I think that the tape might come loose, so since I have one of these, just melt it down a little bit, get some of the glue on the feet, and then pop it into the right place. Now it's very important here to make sure that your guide is lined up with all the others. So now that I've got my guide properly positioned and I've checked the tension, on my braid, I'm going to wrap this around and I'm going to keep the tag end on the inside. Then I'm going to begin to make wraps and I'm going to cover the tag end to go ahead and lock it down. I know the purists are going nuts right now, but this works. Once I know that I've got the tag end secured, I can go ahead and cut it off. Now it's just a matter of trying to wrap as tightly as I possibly can.
at this point I'm starting to get close to the end so now is when I take that loop I made and I'm gonna be I'm gonna wrap it in because I'm gonna pull the line through that to finish it off okay there'll be epoxy on there and I'll square that away so I fluff out the loop and keep tension on cut the line and run it through the loop I grab the loop and I pull it back through Now I'm ready for the epoxy. I use five minute epoxy because that's good enough. It'll create enough of a coating to keep these threads from unraveling. I know the purists are going nuts with everything I've done so far, but my goal is function, not beauty. I know you can get both if you have the patience, but I just want to get this rod back into action. So mix up the epoxy. You don't really need much. And then put a glob on. Now the pros will have a little motor that will turn the rod while the epoxy sets up to keep it from making a blob someplace. So since this is five minute epoxy, I'm just using my finger to smooth it out. Put a little bit more on. So all I want to do is lock down these threads. Okay, I've got excess over here, so I'll just use my little finger to get that off. Okay, now at this point, just a matter of turning it so as that epoxy sets up it won't drip in one particular place so maybe turn it for a minute until it's set up enough to be stable all done looks pretty good and just to show you your skill will improve over time here's one that I did last year it went through the entire season still on there good it's certainly not a work of art and my apologies to the guys that do this to create functional works of art. But all I want to do is get a line guide on there that's going to stick. So, hope you like this tip. Take care.